Hello friends, in this video we have covered what is a rectifier, why do we use rectifiers and how to construct a half wave and a full wave rectifier. What are rectifiers? A rectifier is an electrical device that converts an alternating or AC current to DC or direct current. So essentially what a rectifier does is it converts a sinusoidal waveform to a straight line. Why do we use rectifiers? We use rectifiers because of the inherent advantage of DC that it can be stored in batteries whereas AC power cannot be stored. So DC power can be stored in any battery be it a CMOS battery or a rechargeable battery or any normal battery whereas it is not possible to store AC power. And all electronic devices require DC for operation. So this rectification process is required to be carried out. This rectification is carried out either inside the device or outside in form of an adapter which is used for powering or charging that particular electronic device which could be a mobile phone, a hair dryer, a telephone, a SMPS, a drilling machine, a monitor or a 3D doodler. All these devices utilize the process of rectification for their normal operation. Now the question comes how do we construct a rectifier? In order to construct a rectifier we take the AC voltage as input which is symbolized by this uh, particular symbol and we connect a load across it and simply connect a diode. So now what is the property of diode that it only conducts the current in when it is forward biased. So when we connect a diode to a circuit like this the output is a pulsating DC. The negative uh, voltages, the negative supply, the negative values are chopped off. This is called a half wave rectifier. But the question is that we want a stable, a straight line as a DC output. So the next logical step is to convert the negative values also to positive values in the sine wave and get a waveform like this. So in order to get a waveform like that we need to make a full wave rectifier. So how do we make a full wave rectifier? We take the AC signal, connect the load across it, pass it through a one single diode as we had done in a half wave rectifier but in this particular case we connect one more diode in line. Okay, and then we connect two more diodes in this particular way to get something known as a bridge circuit. Consider this circuit. The arrangement of diodes is such that at any point of time only two diodes will conduct that is they will be in forward bias based upon the AC input across the load. For example, during the positive half of the sinusoidal wave, the direction of current would be like this. It will conduct from diode number 1 and over the load, it will pass through diode number 2 and this way it will complete the circuit. So only two diodes will conduct and two diodes will remain. Let's mark these two diodes like this. Now let's consider what happens in the negative half of the sinusoidal wave. In the negative half, the diodes which were previously reverse biased will conduct and the current will complete the circuit across the load in this particular path. So the net output that we will get is this particular format. So we saw in the half wave rectifier only the positive half of the sinusoidal wave was across the load and the negative half was blocked. Whereas in a full wave rectifier, both the positive as well as negative half are utilized. So if we find the average of this particular uh, voltage, we will still get some net DC value, but still it is far away from the requirement or projected initially that we want a DC value which is nearly a straight line. 
Before we move further, we need to calculate what is the value of DC that we have got in a full wave rectifier. The value is given by this particular equation VDC is equal to 2 V max upon pi that is 0.637 of the maximum voltage. In case the maximum voltage is 5, what we'll be getting is 3.185 volt of the DC value which is not a very efficient circuit. So in order to increase the net DC value, we need to make a few more modifications in the circuit. Consider the bridge rectifier circuit again or a full wave rectifier circuit again. Now the solution is very simple. All we need to do is just put a capacitor across the load and this capacitor is known as smoothening capacitor. So this is how it works. During the positive half of the sinusoidal wave the capacitor charges and as the voltage goes down the capacitor holds that value and discharges very slowly and during the next cycle again it charges and this cycle continues so the net DC output that we get it is much more than 0.637 of the maximum of the peak voltage that we had calculated in the half wave rectifier. In order to test the performance of the smoothening capacitor, Google free online circuit simulator and lot of uh, circuit simulator uh, uh, websites will be there on which you can test the performance. This is one of the circuits wherein a full wave rectifier with smoothing capacitor has been implemented. If the resistance value is taken as 1 kilo ohms and capacitance connected is 0.5 microfarad, the output that we get is something like this. Now this is the value of uh, across the load which is not uh, as uh, good uh, or as uh, straight as we would like it to be. If we increase the capacitor value to 5 microfarad instead of 0.5 we will get more or less a straight line. So we have our rectifier circuit ready. This is the same rectifier which is implemented or the, the, the circuit which is implemented on uh, your travel adapter of mobile phones or on your laptop batteries or all the equipment wherever a adapter is used for converting the AC to a DC value. Thanks for watching. I hope you have understood the concept of rectifiers. Please like and do subscribe. Thank you.